friends. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my picks and recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. Now, I wanna say this, I have done this video so many times. I've been on YouTube for six years now and I have filmed, you know, what pretty much one of these videos for every single sale that Sephora's had. So I'm gonna link all of those videos in the description box below because what I loved a year ago are still things that I would recommend. Obviously, I don't think I can do a video recommending all of my sale picks or all of my recommendations from Sephora. It would be like a two hour video. So what I did was I pulled products that I, I don't think have made it into a Sephora recommendation video yet because maybe they're products I've discovered over the last six months or the last year. And you've heard me talk about my love for them, but you haven't seen them in a Sephora video yet. Um, for the most part, some might be in there. So I'm, I'm calling this my current picks and they're quite a bit, but I just really couldn't bear, bring myself to add to this because there's a lot to share. So I'm going to have all the details for the sale in the description box below as far as dates, status. I know they tier it depending on your level as a VIB insider. You get uh, access at different times and your discount is different based on your uh, level. So the, all of that will be in the description box. Everything you need to know will be linked down below. Let's get started because we have a lot to talk about you guys. Okay, so first we're going to start with body products. I think I'm going to make my way into makeup. So the first product that I have in front of me is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Bum Bum Cream. And someone actually pointed out to me that it's pronounced Boom Boom Cream. I don't know if that's true, but that, I'm going to say that because maybe it is. This smells amazing. Now, when I talked about this in a recent video, um, I think it was my self-care favorite video, um, I got a few comments saying, oh, I can't stand the smell of that. It's way too strong. I love this smell, but it is definitely a strong scent. If you are not someone that likes that like tropical kind of beach, pina colada, coconutty, you know that you know that smell that you get from some lotions and some SPFs, that's what it smells like. It's I love it. I love it. But if you are someone that hates that smell, you would not like this. But I love this body butter. You guys, it feels so like luxurious on the skin. It feels so good. It, it literally feels like a treat when I apply this and it smells so good in my opinion. But again, if you don't like scents like that, you will not like this one. Very, very sweet. Um, I have this in the large and the travel tub. This is the travel size. I love it. I love it so much that I purchased the body oil with SPF of 30. Um, I got this a few months ago and I love this. I put this on pretty much every day that I go outside and either run or I go hiking in our trails. We've been going to the creek a lot through quarantine. It's kind of been our like like family outing every day. We have private creeks in our neighborhood and I will put this on. It's SPF of 30. So it gives me that, but it's not a thick, heavy, you know, SPF lotion. Um, and it has that same scent to it. It's an oil. So it makes the skin just look like super oof, yummy. I love the look of it. Um, it's just a great body oil to wear regardless of if you're going to be exposed to a lot of sun. It just makes the skin look so, so beautiful. So love these two products. Um, I have two tanning products to share with you guys. And you've heard me talk about them recently. I have the Isle of Paris Paradise self tanning drops and I have uh, the shade medium. I mix this with any body lotion. I'll mix it with the bum bum cream. I still call it bum bum. I don't know if it's bum bum boom boom. But anyway, I mix it with that. I'll mix it with other lotions that are less thick. Um, and I'll just do like three drops and I'll mix it in and I'll apply my body lotion. Now I am guilty sometimes of getting that little like self tan. I don't have any on right now, but I did notice the other day I did have some buildup there. So um, if you prefer to use a glove to avoid that, you might want to do that, but I, I don't have any problems if I just make sure that I, you know, keep it out of building up in between my fingers. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm trying to say that I use my hands to apply it. However, I sometimes do get that build up there. So there's my little disclaimer on that. The next tanning product is by Tan Lux. It's a Hydra Mousse uh, self tanning mousse. And I actually picked this up from Ulta last month or the month before. Um, and it would attract, I was looking for a clear mousse. I wanted a mousse. I wanted something that wasn't heavy scented. I didn't, I, of course, who likes that self tanning smell? No one does. Right. And I like that this said that it was hydrating. Um, and I do, I mean, it's not like pot putting a lotion on your skin, but it definitely is something that if you were to forget to put the lotion on your skin, wouldn't feel dry or ashy. And mine definitely does. If I forget to skip, if I skip lotion, body lotion every day. Um, I really like this, this one, you do need to use a mitt for, I would not recommend using this without a mitt because you will certainly get that buildup. I have gotten it on my feet sometimes if I don't blend it in all the way, but the color is pretty quick in a couple hours you see color. I find on me if I don't like shave or exfoliate a lot, it'll last me a good four days or so. Um, and I have the light medium um, shade. Really, really love this as well. Okay, moving right along, I have two dry conditioners. One you've heard me talk about. The other one is more new. You haven't heard me talk about it. But the first one is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. 
shampoo. I really like this. I will use this when I my hair is oily in the mornings like we all do, right? But it doesn't leave a white cast. It really does refresh the hair. It doesn't just absorb the oil. It makes the hair look cleaner. I don't know. I really like it. It's, it's a dry shampoo that really stood out to me the first time that I tried it. The other one is a more innovative formula, and this was one that I just picked up because I saw another YouTuber talk about this recently. And I think I did mention this in a video, actually, now that I'm speaking it, I'm like, oh, this is how I'm having deja vu. <laughs> this is the Bumble and Bumble post-workout dry shampoo mist. So this uh, is designed for post-workout. This is designed for sweaty hair. If I get a workout where my roots are so just like soaked in sweat, but the rest of my hair is not, and maybe I wash my hair the day before, I don't want to rewash it, right? But sometimes putting a dry shampoo, like it's typical dry shampoo, in like really sweaty hair, it just gets like gritty. You know what I mean? It just, you know what I'm talking about. So this is meant for that type of hair. You spray it at the root and then you can kind of dry it like on a cool setting and it really refreshes the hair like it has just washed. You do need to shake it. You'll notice that when it settles, you'll see like the powder product down here. But it's pretty new, you can tell. I've used it a probably, I don't know, maybe five or six times. I only use this one on sweaty hair. So the next product that I wanna share in the sale is by SK2 and it's their uh, facial treatment essence. So the way that I use this product is I use this on freshly cleansed skin and I just put it on my hand or the back of my hand. The reason I put it on the back of my hand is so that the back of my hand gets those benefits from the product. Uh, but you have to be careful too because it's easier, it's harder to control it from like sliding off and wasting product. But I just go in and I press it into the skin on freshly cleansed skin, no moisturizer, no other serums before that that step. And I'll also put it on my neck and on my chest as well. The biggest difference that I've noticed with this skin is a brightening in my skin. It, my skin has just been so bright and it's different than the glow that I get from my P50 lotion. That product also brightens my skin. Um, and I haven't used them together. I've kind of pulled off using my P50 lotion as often just so that I could test this and really see the benefits of it. I felt like if I were doing them both together, it's really hard to see, you know what I mean? It's just like, if I'm going to test a new product, especially at this price point, I needed to kind of remove other things. Um, but the, the, the difference in glow that I get from the P50 lotion is it's like a glowy, like a dewy glow to the skin. This is a brightening to the skin. So this doesn't give you that like, like dewy glow or it doesn't give me that dewy glow. It gives like a real even brightness to the skin. It kind of removes, I should say removes dark spots, but it minimizes the appearance of dark spots or dark patches. Your skin just looks like fresh, beautiful, plump, bright skin is the best way to describe it. It also helps hydrate the skin. So what I've been doing on some days that I feel like I really don't need a heavy moisturizer or um, like a, another moisturizer, what I'll do is I'll use this and then I'll just use a moisturizing SPF. So I won't really, I'll skip my day cream and I'll use this and I'll use a moisturizing SPF like the Elta MD um, moisturizer. And I'll link that one down below. You can't pick it up at Sephora, but it's a really great hydrating SPF. So I'll use those too. So it just leaves the skin lighter I feel like I have less on my skin um, on those days. Uh, but I really love this. And the reason I'm recommending it during the sale is because it is a, it's not cheap, you guys. It's a pretty high price product. I think it's worth it. And I think if you're gonna buy this, it's why not get the 15 or 20% or whatever your um, discount allows you to. Okay, moving right along to a fragrance. This is Juliet Has a Gun. And this is like my backup because I love this fragrance. This has been in Sephora v VIB recommendation videos before. It's so good. Uh, I have yet to, to recommend this to anyone that has told me they don't like it. It just smells, mm, it smells so good. It's not a real sweet fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that I feel is kind of universal. Like it could be masculine, feminine. It's, oh, it smells so good. Now, uh, Juliet Has a Gun is the uh, line of fragrances, but the specific fragrance is not a perfume. They have other fragrances, but the one not a perfume is my favorite. Love that one. Okay, moving right along. I only have uh, two palette options to share with you guys. Um, the I Love Sephora I Love palettes are so great. If you haven't picked these up, you definitely should. You will not be disappointed. There are these mini palettes that come with complete looks. And I have a medium cool. And then I also have this one too, which I will link the shade for this one below. Um, it's a bit warmer, you can see. But these are such great travel palettes. They're such great everyday palettes. They're at a really great price point. I think they're $14 normally. So with a say, I mean, they come down to like, you know, just a little over $10. They're such great quality of everything you need to do a complete look. You have a uh, brow highlight, transition shade, lid shades. Uh, they're a really, really great value already, um, but I love them. These are my two favorite of the shades. They have them in fun, bright colors, but those are the most neutral wearable ones. Then also the Bare Minerals Gin Nude. I know this is an old one, you guys. This has been in past videos, but 
It's hard for me to recommend the Sephora I Love without mentioning the Bare Nude because I feel like it falls in the same category. It's um, travel friendly, it's compact, not that we're traveling much these days, but it's compact. If you are someone that just wants an easy go-to one eyeshadow palette, you don't like to collect a lot, you don't like big palettes, either one of these are gonna do you really well. This obviously is gonna cost probably twice as much. I don't know the price on the Bare Minerals, but I wanna say it's in the at least $25, $30 range. Um, and I have this shade uh, neutral this one the one that I have is neutral and it's a neutral one to me They look a little rosy, but they do have one that's rosier. So don't get confused with that. Okay. I want to share two eye uh, Cream shadows that you, won't be a surprise to you guys if you've been watching my videos the last six months the Charlotte Tilbury mesmerize eyes um, They are some of my favorite cream eyeshadows. This is what they look like They come in a little pot and they're a really interesting formula. They're kind of moussey they kind of feel like a little bit of a mousse. And I have two shades. This one is Marie Antoinette, and this one is Jean. And I'm going to show you what they swatch like on the hand. So Jean is going to be your kind of like champagne-y, slightly warm champagne-y shade, right? It's that great kind of all over shade. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. It's not too like cool, icy, but it's not too peach either, right? It's right in between there. Then um, Marie Antoinette is more cool tone. It's like a taupe shade. Uh, it's a little darker, but it's still light enough, I think, to work really well on the lid. You can see it there right next to it. It is so beautiful. I love them both. I think my favorite would be the Marie Antoinette though, because you get a little bit more color. Uh, these can be pretty opaque, but they can also be really sheer. You don't need to layer an eyeshadow on top of them. They work really great by them themselves. If you like get the urge to layer an eyeshadow on top, do it quickly before it dries. Um, but again, I think that the formula is like, you don't really need to layer shadow. If you're going to layer shadow, just stick with a cheap eye primer. Don't, don't, um, layer shadow on these. There's just really no need to. So they're just great go-to cream shadows. They're long wearing and they can be that like one and done product. If you are someone that likes quick makeup, but you like to look pulled together, I highly recommend a product like that. More Charlotte Tilbury for you guys. The um, color corrector is so nice. I have this shade Fair. This is a really great product um, to work as a color corrector underneath a concealer. So if you have really dark circles and you find a lot of concealers, you can still see that darkness peeking through. Try adding a color corrector underneath it. This is one of my favorites because it's really hydrating. It's great for dry or mature under eyes. It's going to feel hydrating. You do need to set it with a powder though. If you don't, if you don't use a concealer on top, which you don't have to, if you wear this as your concealer, I think you do need to like lightly dust a powder because it will crease a little bit. It's really creamy. Um, a concealer that I find uh, a new concealer is the Pat McGrath concealer. I really love this one, you guys. It is full coverage. The formula feels like it's hydrating and gel-like. And this dries down really nice. I don't have an issue with this creasing. It stays on all day. It gives phenomenal coverage. I have the shade LM9. I have a couple others and they all work for me, but I find that this one is kind of my go-to one. I've been wearing this a ton lately. If you are someone that likes full coverage concealer, but you don't, you find a lot of full coverage concealers to be, they look really heavy, they look dry, like they look dry under the eye or they uh, cake or crease. I don't have that issue with this one at all. Okay, moving right along, let's talk about one more concealer, opposite end of the spectrum, very natural, would be the Magic Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a very sheer, natural concealer. This is a great concealer for us all now when we aren't going anywhere, right? We're not going anywhere, we just wanna put a little bit of makeup on to feel a little fresh. This is a great go-to. It's also my go-to when we're out of this whole, <laughs> you know, quarantine situation that we're in and I'm just going to the gym or the grocery store or wherever, I'm just stepping out of the house and I wanna look a little pulled together, but I don't wanna look like I've tried too hard. This is great. Um, these two together are great. This will give you more coverage if you layer it on top of the color corrector. Okay, I have a couple of foundations for you guys. Um, and I have kind of a range as far as coverage and finish. So first, let's start with the matte longwear foundation. No surprise, the Dior Forever uh, foundation is kind of my go-to lately for a good coverage, long wear, not heavy looking foundation. I have the shade 2.5 in. It's a great match for me, this is a reliable foundation. It's super reliable for me. I put it on, I don't have to worry about it getting shiny or looking oily or greasy or transferring. It's just it's just a go-to foolproof, fail-proof, is that right, foundation. Um, I have two foundations. Let's go on the opposite end of the spectrum. So let's talk about more of a glowy or dewy foundation. 
The Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. I think this foundation is so beautiful. I think it is so beautiful if you have dry skin or um, textured skin. It just lays on the skin and gives you like the healthiest, beautiful glow. I have heard people complain that it doesn't really wear on them really well and it's not long wearing. This is definitely one that I have to touch up with more. Definitely one that I will use a primer with underneath to kind of combat that, but I just think it looks so beautiful. It's really unique. It feels very lightweight. You put it on and immediately you're like, oh my gosh, my skin hasn't looked this good in so long. It's a really, really beautiful foundation. If you have oily skin, stay away, okay? If you have oily skin, this is really more for normal to dry skin. And I have the shade medium. It's it works for me. It's sometimes it gets a tad too dark, but um, it works for me. Okay, then I have two foundations that are kind of in the middle of the two. So the first one that I want to share that leans a little bit more uh, satin would be the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is one that I discovered a couple of months ago, and it is so nice, you guys. This gives the skin a natural satin-like finish, not really dewy, not matte at all but it's long wearing. I find that this looks good on the skin for hours and hours, even though it does lean a little bit more satin, which is hard to find. When you find a foundation like that, that is worth noting. So I really do like this. I think that this is a great product if you haven't tried it. Okay, and the last one is kind of a combination of both. Long wear, slight glow, kind of matte, kind of in between. It's hard to describe this foundation. It's the L'Oreal, no L'Oreal. I say that because I did the L'Oreal True Glow and that was a kind of a good dupe for this noted. But the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, it has an SPF of 20. This is a beautiful foundation. It is long wearing, it gives medium natural coverage. And when I say natural, don't think I mean sheer. It gives a good medium coverage, but it looks so natural. It looks beautiful. It gives a very interesting radiant effect to the skin. Your skin looks radiant, but it doesn't look dewy. That makes sense. It just looks, I don't know. It looks like something you would see in a magazine is kind of what it looks like. You know when you see like that porcelain airbrushed skin where you can't see a pore and it just looks like... Oh, like, you know what I'm talking about? That's what I feel like my skin looks like when I wear this. It is beautiful. It is very expensive. Why not buy it when it's on sale? If you've had your eye on it, I had my eye on this for a year before I finally broke down and spent the money on it. Um, and I don't regret it. I love it. Um, okay. Moving right along. We're almost done. You guys, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter. I want to recommend this product because I think it's a great product, especially for the times that we're in now where we're not really leaving the house at all. Um, again, if you just want your skin to look a little bit better than it normally does, but you don't want to feel like you have a lot of makeup on, you don't want to look like you have a lot of makeup on, this is a very universal product. You can mix this with your moisturizer and it's just going to give the skin a really healthy glow. This is going to give you a glow though. This is not like a subtle sheen. This is a glow. Um, you can mix this with your foundation if you want to take a matte foundation and give it some glow. You can put this on top of foundation if you've already applied your foundation and you just want to highlight certain areas and be strategic where you put it on the high planes, cheekbones, nose. You can do that. It's a really versatile product and I love it, but I wanted to share it in this video because like I said, if you just want to perfect the skin but you don't want to have foundation on, this would be a great skin perfector. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to move fast, you guys. I just have a couple lip products to share. The Clinique Pop Nude Pop Lipstick, one of my all-time favorites. Love this lipstick. I love the formula. It's got a built-in primer and it, you feel that primer. It feels very just smooth. So it evens out texture in the lips, fine lines, makes everything look smooth. The color is just like, it's just it's like the perfect nude. I'm going to show you right here. It's like not too pink, not too peach. It's just like the perfect balance of both. Um, it has a slight sheen to it. I'm layering it on top of what I have on right now. So you're not really going to see a true true representation of it, but I wear this all the time. It is my go-to lipstick. If I had to grab one lipstick, it would be this one. The next is a uh, lipstick that is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Hot Lips 2 collection. And I, I like this shade. I have a few other shades that I like too. The formula is mainly what I want to talk about. Um, this one is the shade JK Magic, and this is going to be more of a peachy nude. I'm going to show you this next to the Clinique. The formula of these lipsticks is really nice though. This is what it looks like. The formula of these lipsticks are really nice. They're very pigmented, very creamy, hydrating to the lips. Uh, they last really well, rich, rich pigment. The formula is just so great. Like it's just a good, good formula. I have it in this one. I have it in, I have it 
a couple other shades. I'll leave it, leave them all in the description box. I love them all. I really just wanted to share the formula with you more so than the specific shade. Okay, and then one more lip product. I have two, they're actually the same brand, but this Laneige sleeping mask. And then also I have it in a um, little squeeze tube lip balm. I love these both. Put these on at night, put these on before I film a video. Very hydrating to the lips. They smell great. I think this one is berry. And this one, is this berry or strawberry? I'm not sure, maybe they're the same scent. But um, they have this one in a couple other scents too that are really nice. Oh, but yeah, this would be probably my favorite go-to lip treatment. So, okay you guys, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of information in this video. And this didn't even cover like half of all the products that I love from Sephora. So I'm gonna leave links to all of my other Sephora videos that I've done in the past. If you really just have all the time in the world, like I think a lot of us do right now, check those out, enjoy. Uh, tell, tell me what you're getting. I think I will do a follow-up video maybe when the next like tier opens up of what I'm actually buying from Sephora. I'm gonna make my list. I'm gonna start adding things to my cart this week. So anyway, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Happy shopping. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, questions, comments, all that good stuff in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.